Hello, Virtual Dave here, and I just wanted to show you um, how I was started to play the Golf Club VR with the Valve Index using a homemade, um, what do you call it, virtual reality golf club type thing, uh, accessory. A bit like the ProTube VR, so that's the ProTube VR for, for shooting. Um, and this is what I use, so... Obviously, when you get the Pro Tube VR, you get this uh, plastic thing here that, that uses cable ties, and then it's magnet. It's a magnet there, and then that goes on to the magnet on this thing here. So that's what basically I used, and I'll just show you that over there. So basically, this is what I did. You get a golf club handle, cut it down. Uh, you've got to guess roughly where this is an M8 nut sir aluminium nut sir so you've got to sort of slowly work your way down until you that nut sir will slide into the uh, handle not you know tightish fit and then you'll get a M8 nut sir gun that you screw into that nut sir and you squeeze it a bit like a pop with it and it'll expand and it'll hold and then you just get a bit of 16 mil metal bar just that's just normal steel bar and then i had a an m8 bolt welded to the end and then i just sprayed it silver and basically that's all you do and then you just screw that in there like that quite a long thread and then i i attached it was a little bit too too loose for this clamp maybe you could get probably 16 17 8, 9 20 mil bar maybe would do it I'm not sure but all I did was wrap a load of rubber and tape around there just so it packed it out so I clamped that it's a nice tight fit now the magnet when it attaches is not really strong enough I mean if you was a serious golfer and like playing virtual reality golf you could probably I mean at the moment I've just put a load of black um, insulating tape around there just to hold it and it holds it fine it, it won't come off it's tightened it up but if you were serious you could you could there's there's you could take the magnet out and put a bolt through and attach it so it stays there really nice and tight so that's it and then that gives it a bit of weight and you can actually angle that if you wanted which will actually move the golf club up and down a little bit so anyway let me just jump into this golf club VR and I'll show you what it's like and hopefully I don't smash anything because when you do if you do this you've got to make sure you've got enough room to be swinging this around I mean you could have I could have this lower so it goes lower to the ground but it's best to keep it high so so when I'm actually sort of swinging it, it's it's way off the ground you know you could have it down here but I don't want to be smashing nothing so just keep it up it's pretty safe like that adds weight, adds immersion, it looks pretty cool, and I'll show you now. So I'll just make myself smaller. How do I make myself smaller? There you go. And then I'll just, I'm, I'm crap at golf to be fair. But this is just uh, to show you. So let me go over to the... Uh, this game's quite an old game, so the, the controls are a little bit janky, but it does work. The more you play it, the more you get used to it. Okay, I think I'm positioned safely. Just make sure you've got enough room around you. And, and this is what it's like, man. And it's pretty cool. It's awesome. If you was a golf fanatic and you've got virtual reality... I would recommend doing this. I really would. So we've got to hit it down there. And you've got your golf club. It tells you, look at that, it's a nine mile an hour wind, man. And it's going off to the right. So I'm going to hit it over that way, I think. I think that's the plan. Oh, no, I actually curved it the other way. What a donor. I don't know why when I hit that this it always curves it must be just the way I do it because 
Yeah, it must be just the way I'll do it, man. I'm a bit, a bit of a spaz. So let, let's choose what it wants me to use. And we get back over here and position ourselves a little bit. I'm just going to go back over onto that green thing. Right in the sand, man. Just make sure to tighten that up a bit. It's a pity you can't actually buy something like this already done, but I don't think there is anything. I've got to move here a bit. Why does it want me to? Oh, I've got to aim over there. Is that what he's saying? Let's just get it out. Okay, and see that didn't go very far. So let's put that back. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. No, I don't want to fall. I'll we'll probably do actually. Because I'm not that good. Smashed that fine, didn't I? Where's the green? It's over there somewhere. Okay, let's put that back. Oh, it actually wants me to take that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the four. Just position yourself right, man. But it is really, really immersive. It really feels like you're holding... When you see that golf club going down there and you're holding something weighty and you've just not got a little controller in your hand, it really feels immersive. But I'm just such a rubbish golf player. Okay, let's go to the... Ask it. It's telling me to use that, man. Am I that far away from the bloody... It's right over there, isn't it? I probably won't even reach it with this, to be fair. Because I'm... Really? You want me to use this? Okay. Look, I know I shouldn't have used it. Look at that. Gone into the trees. I mean, this actually shows the valve controller, so I don't know if they've done that or whether Steam's done that. Well, they must have done it, but they could have made it a little bit better. But still, it is very good, I must admit, and I'm not a golfer. As you can tell, my swing is absolute pants. So I might cut this bar down. So I don't need it so long and then it'll make it less weighty. That's probably why. Maybe it's too too weighty. Oh look in the sand again and I no, just on the edge or in the sand I can't don't know. In the sand, man. Let's see if I can just chip it up onto the green. Yeah. Whoa, that was awesome. So we got onto the green at last. Just put that away. No, you get, I know you get like a ghost ball. So we're going downhill. So it'd be something like. Look at that. 
Oh my word! I won't be doing that with this one. I knew it. What a donut! Look at that. Too, done it too. Um, not had enough. Too scared, man. Oh, it just went round the hole. Okay, let me let me get it. So there's the next one. But I ain't gonna do any more. I'm gonna put you out of your misery and stop. But yeah, so that is a homemade golf club accessory for virtual reality. Pretty cool. If you like playing golf, just try that. I think you can buy these from uh, ProTube VR. This, you can buy this separate, separate, and just mess about, make something. If you can't make this, just go to your local, every place has a, like a metal fabrication shop, and just tell them, can you cut me a bit of bar and weld a nut on the, a bolt on the end? And that nut cert, I think you can buy the nuts, you can buy these M8 nut certs and the nut cert guns from eBay. Not too sure how much they are, to be fair, but awesome bit of kit. I'm just going to practice and get better and better. Cheers.